I'm Lindsay Partridge and on today's video we're going to do the battle of the saddle pads. Ah, not like that! On battle <laughs> of the saddle pads what we've done is taken the top three saddle pads from the Truth Tack review and put them to our test. If you haven't checked out Truth Tack review you totally need to do so. It's this awesome lady that rips apart the materials and manufacturers of what's actually inside saddle pads and saddles and she listed the top three saddle pads for 2015 for Western saddle pads and we have all three here. This is the classic equine ESP pad, the beautiful toe clap matrix pad, and the wonderful thin line Western pads. So now we're gonna give you our scoop after trying out these pads over the last couple months. First up for review is the classic equine ESP pad. What do we think about this pad? Well, we like the wool top that gives it a nice sort of classy feel to it. But what we don't like about it is that it's not contoured to the horse's back. So when you have a bit of a high withered area here, it doesn't really, it's not really fitting to his back. It's not really shaped there. And there's no shims for use for the pad. So we've got nowhere to help balance the saddle if it wasn't sitting quite right. So out of the three pads, we put this one in third place. Next up for review is the Tokla Matrix pad. What do we think about this pad? Well, I love that it comes in a sheepskin bottom. It's a nice breathable bottom. It's machine washable. I like that it's contoured to the horse here. I like that it's got pockets that we can open up and shim. What I'm not such a big fan about or that makes me not so crazy about this one is that the big ortho impact inserts, they compress a fair bit. So when you go to do your cinch up with your saddle, you put your saddle on and you do up your cinch, then you go to get on. When you sit down in the saddle, it's gonna compress this even more, which is gonna make this smaller and make your cinch a little bit looser. So I'm not, you know, it's a little thing. It's not a huge thing, but not crazy about that. The other one is that inside the pad, when you're gonna shim, there's pockets for your shims. So what you end up either doing is putting your shims in the pockets and then you can't really get a custom fit because you're limited to one of the three pockets, one of the three stages. Or if you put it in the big side area here, it's very loose. So you have to be careful that when you're picking up your pad or things like that, that your shims aren't sliding around. So for shimmy, not quite as secure. And the shims that go in the pad are a sort of felt-like material. So they're not adding any impact protection. And when you shim your pad, it's kind of annoying to line the Velcro back up. Sometimes it doesn't go quite back to where you had it before. Uh, when you've got a lot of shims up there, it doesn't line up perfectly well. Really nice pad, but a few little user things that make it a little bit quirky. So that's why we put this pad in second place. So our last saddle pad up for review is the Finline Western Saddle Pad. We have two different styles of Western saddle pads to show you. This is the sheepskin pad, which I really like with the breathable bottom. Really nice stylish pad, sort of the top of the line from Thinline. Look at that nice contour there. This is the cotton saddle pad. Also has a really nice contour for the horse. This is cotton, both sides. Both of them are machine washable. What I like about these pads is the impact protection foam. So all of these saddle pads give you impact protection. What's nice about the thin line foam is how thin it is. So it doesn't interfere with your saddle fit by adding too much bulk. When you go to put your saddle pad on and then you do up your cinch after you've got your saddle on, this doesn't compress. So when you go to sit in the saddle, nothing's squeezing together and making that area smaller so you don't have to tighten your cinch again. Makes it a little bit safer for that. And one of my favorite features with these pads is how they shim. So they shim by sliding your hand up into the pockets here. The different shims that they have are actually more pieces of impact protection foam. So here's one of the shims here. You can see it's another piece of the foam, so you're basically adding more impact protection. So you can see that they don't compress there. And when you put the shims in, you slide them up into the pad through this area here. And yeah, you have to sort of shim them a little bit and sort of work them into the pad. But what I like about it is that it's not going to move around once it's in. You don't have to take them out when you're going to machine wash your pad. And you can put them anywhere along the pad along this top side here. 
So it's a little bit trickier doing this standing up, but basically they fit anywhere along here and because of the way they sort of stick to the foam or the way they go in, they don't slide around. So when you're putting your saddle pad up on top of your horse, things like that, you don't have to worry about them coming out of place or dislodging. So I really like the way that these pads shim and the shims that come with the pads. And so that's why with these saddle pads, we are placing them number one. So I hope you found this helpful, the battle of the saddle pads. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.